AirDrop is a quick and easy way to send files back and forth between two Macs, or now an OS X Yosemite and iOS 8, between a Mac and an iOS device. With AirDrop, the devices don't need to be on the same network, but they do need to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. We'll talk more about both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth coming up in the System Preferences section of the course later, but up here in the menu bar, you can see that both are activated right now on my Mac. Within the Finder sidebar is an AirDrop folder. In here, all the AirDrop enabled devices my Mac can recognize will appear. I'm going to pull up my iPad screen now. Once my iPad is unlocked, AirDrop is activated. It will appear here in my AirDrop folder. Use Control Center on your iOS device to activate or turn off AirDrop. Notice that you can tell AirDrop to see everyone or only devices whose owners are in your contacts list. I have that same option here in the AirDrop window on my Mac. Now let's share something from my iPad to my Mac using AirDrop. I'm going to open up a photo here on my iPad and tap the share button. AirDrop exists within this share sheet in iOS. Any sort of file, link, or document that can be shared can be AirDropped. In the center here is a section available for AirDrop devices. Currently only my Mac is available. Now I'll unlock my iPhone. It also has AirDrop activated and is sharing to everyone. So it appears on my iPad as well, and in the AirDrop folder on my Mac. But why on my iPad is it labeled as Drew with a photo, and on my Mac just labeled as Drew's iPhone? This is because on my iPad, it's stored as a contact. So your contacts will appear in AirDrop with their first name and any photo assigned to the contact entry. On my Mac and this user account, I'm not saved as a contact. I'm going to lock my iPhone now, so it'll go away. Let's send this photo from my iPad to my Mac via AirDrop. I'll just tap on the iMac 27 icon here. And on the Mac, I get a pop-up asking me if I want to accept the file. I'll click Save and Open. The file sent to my Downloads folder and opened in Preview. Now let's send the Sample Report Pages document from my iMac to my iPad using AirDrop. There are a couple different ways to share from the Mac. First, I can select the file and right here from the Finder, click the Share button and choose AirDrop. My iPad is available, so I can just click on it and on the iPad, I'm asked to accept or decline the file. This time I'm going to decline, which I'm informed of over here on my Mac. I could also share this document directly from the application, in this case, Pages. Click the Share button and send a copy via AirDrop. Finally, I can drag this document right to my iPad in the AirDrop folder. This time I'll accept, and I'll open it up in Pages for iOS. To use AirDrop between a Mac and an iOS device, you must be running OS X Yosemite on your Mac and iOS 8 on the iOS device. If you want to airdrop with a Mac that's running an older version of OS X, like Mavericks or Mountain Lion, you'll need to click this Don't See Who You're Looking For button and check Airdrop with Older Macs. Doing this will let you airdrop with a Mac running OS X Mavericks, but you'll lose the ability to airdrop to any iOS devices. My iPad will no longer appear here until I turn off airdrop with older Macs.